What is up YouTube? This is Vault here, back in today with you guys another new Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. And today we are opening the Legendary Duelist Season 1. We actually got 6 boxes in here. Uh, I would actually have gotten a case uh, if I knew there was 8 boxes per case, but uh, nonetheless we got 6. And this is basically a reprint of uh, Legendary Duelist, um, the one with Joey and also the uh, one with Pegasus. In the front cover, that was released like almost like three or two years ago, uh, depending on each set. And it's been a while, and a lot of those cards in these Legendary Duel series are extremely expensive, so I'm really glad, I'm really happy that they finally released this right here. So we see a lot of Toon Monsters, really, really good combinations with the Toon Chaos cards that we are getting recently, that we got recently, uh, and whole new rarity. And each box, I believe, contains uh, two Legendary, Legendary Duelist packs, uh, one double-sided art, and one of the seven secret rare variant cards right here, which is really, really good. Really cool stuff. And we also have a new uh, errata, uh, Red Eyes Metal Black Flare Dragon. Uh, not Metal Black Flare Dragon, I can't remember. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I believe. And with a completely, uh, not completely new effect, but like a little bit like a nerfed effect, I believe. Uh, and really, really cool stuff right here. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have got one for yourselves. But also, just before we go into it, I'm gonna showcase you guys that right now local stores are handing out uh, lost art promotions, and right here for this uh, month or this week's is offerings to the Doom. Now, if you guys purchase any seal product uh, up to like $30, uh, you guys can basically get one of these for free. Now, really interesting because uh, I know a lot of my followers here on this channel are Speed Duel uh, rela related um, viewers. And this is Offerings to the Doom that was basically for the OCG card artwork. Now, I wasn't sure why they had to change it in the uh, North American version. I think it might be the crossbar and the religious reasons. But this art looks so much better. And right here, we got a Speed Duel version of our most current or recent uh, Offerings to the Doom that we got released in our Twisted Nightmares uh, starter decks. And just look how different this whole card entirely is. I mean, like, I mean, not trying to shame on the artist, but this is, this one... Compared to this one, this one on the on my right is so much better, and I felt like they should have released this one for us on Speed Duels, and because Offerings to the Doom is a very powerful card in Speed Duels currently in that format, but you guys can see and compare the differences. Uh, comment down below which one you guys like more. I, of course, like the OCG artwork more. I hope they do more of these lost art promotions, but anyways, uh, let's get right into the opening right here. So, I like to do a lot of discussion, uh, once again, like uh, with Speed Duel related, and this set is, um, I personally feel that a lot of cards actually from this set could be coming in into speed duels. Uh, and, and they come out really, really good cards because they're basically legendary duelists is a pack that basically focuses on um, the actual um, characters themselves. I'm going to move these to the side and I might actually just open all of them at once later on. But we'll check out what the first box has. But yeah, you guys can see this, uh, all these duelist packs, legendary duelists are all based off like characters and I think uh, since Speed Duels is very character uh, related I think these are really good cards to actually uh, f cards from some of the set uh, in this set is really great to come in overall so right here we got for our secret rare Gear Freed the Red Eyes Iron Knight really cool stuff this card was uh, pretty expensive getting up there and really nice to see it as a secret rare reprint we got two packs per box it's a pretty big box uh, just for how little items there are, I feel like they should have uh, either gave us one more pack or maybe uh, shrunk, shrank the box a little bit. But also right here, okay, we got like a puzzle card, I believe, which is going to be pretty neat. Uh, let's open it and see what it does, what it has. Uh, so yeah, so one uh, secret rare variant, and we have this, uh, I guess, this exclusive uh, double-sided art cards. And I really, really like this. These are great for field centers. The holographicness on this is just absolutely amazing. Very well done. Uh, would it, this is actually TCG exclusive, honestly. Um, and so I'm really happy that Konami did this reprint. Jesse Anderson. And in the back, it looks like I can kind of tell already it's like a puzzle card that you want to put all together and then sort of make like a complete uh, image puzzle of the set. So two packs. Each pack actually has 18 cards. Uh, I can't remember what kind of rares you get, but I guess we're here to find out. There's actually a new rarity in this set. A new type of ultra rare, which I'm very excited about. And let's just go right into it. Rainbow Dragon, this is a pretty big card pool overall. Uh, Barrel Dragon, 
Super Vehicle Roid, Mobile Base, Toon Alligator. You guys can see a lot of these cards are very familiar because they're actually from Speed Duels. Uh, Amazon's Baby Tiger for our very first Ultra Rare right here. Just so you guys know, I think yeah, it's an Ultra Rare. Uh, first of all, the whole card is holographic and also the words right here, it's actually in blue. Uh, rather than the iconic gold that we always get and I really like this because it really gives it a new flair a new taste and a different look And I love those different colors that they have there's like green red blue and purple And I'm not sure if there's any, any other colors, but definitely looking forward to that and we got rainbow over dragon very nice So we basically got two uh, Different ultra rares in one pack so far This card I definitely want uh, to build my crystal beast and then we got melfi Rabi, which is like a new archetype that recently came out. Bunch of normal monsters. Not too sure what their win condition is. I heard there's a lot of like conspiracy and theories about it, but this is just a regular ultra rare, I think. And so basically, we get three different types of ultra rares in each pack. Now that's worth it, honestly. Uh, we get Toon Dark Magician, the Blackstone of Legend, Red Eyes Toon Dragon, very nice, uh, Metal Form Eyes uh, Insect Queen, Ancient Gear Golem. Definitely would be seeing that uh, in Speed Duels uh, as soon as we move into GX era as well. Uh, Return of the Red Eyes, Parasite Paranoid, you guys are very familiar uh, with this card as well for, for all those speed do guys out there. Mangu Ryu Ran, and then Toon Goblin Attack Force. So very very nice stuff so far. I really like these, uh, this set honestly. It's very very good. I would actually highly recommend you guys to pick up some, uh, even if you guys uh, just like to collect overall. And then the second pack, uh, another Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Okay. Seeing similar cards already, Toon Mermaid, Ancient Gear Wyvern, Wyvern, Cyberdark Cannon, Crystal Blessing, Ancient Gear Frame, Cyberdark Edge, a lot, once again, I feel like a lot of these cards are definitely gonna be, gonna be coming in uh, into uh, Speed Duel sooner or later. A lot of these cards are actually already in Duel Links, so I, it, it's only natural that it does. Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon is actually really, really good reprint. It came out in a structure deck. Normally Konami doesn't really reprint cards from structure decks because they're just so easily and highly accessible for starters. But seeing this in common is kind of feeling weird. But also I'm really happy because, you know, sometimes the structure deck cards do get a little bit pricey over time. Uh, especially go, uh, especially the older the structure deck is. Desperado Battle Dragon. I like this one. We're getting a lot of blues and purples so far. I haven't seen a green or red one yet, but like that card. I really like it. Ultimate Crystal Magic. Love this as well. Amazing. And then Fury of the Kairu Shin. I think um, the third Ultra Rare is like an exclusive um, card that we will get uh, from Rise of the Duelist. So it's a very good promotion to sort of give us like, sort of like a sneak peek of what uh, cards are coming in the next set. But yeah, Kairu Shin. We maybe need this in Speed Duels, honestly. This card needs to come in and maybe hopefully make it make Kairu Shin even better. Let's bring it to the fact anyways. Add one Torrential Tribute from your deck again. Okay, never mind. Maybe we can't because we don't have Torrential Tribute. But Torrential Tribute can be coming in the Speed Duels. Who knows? Uh, from your deck to your hand, if a water monster you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can use each effect once per turn. I think it's okay, decent. I think Torrential Tribute can be coming in uh, sometime down the road. Toon Alligator, Toon Battle Dragon, you know, we've seen those already. Legendary Ocean. Quality of these cards printing feel a bit better than, uh, than the regular sets, too. Kind of similar, not exactly the same. It doesn't feel exactly the same as the Toon Chaos cards. Uh, but yeah, it feels not too bad. Quite like it. Um, so yeah, just so here, we got five more boxes to go through. I don't want I don't want you guys uh, to watch me open this like bit by bit. So I'm just gonna open all of it all at once and have all the packs laid out. So just give me one quick sec. So right here, we opened up all uh, five boxes because yeah, it took, it took some time to actually open them up. And right here, I know it's kind of like spoilers, but we already see our five uh, packs that we got or five different cards. Uh, really, really happy about it because all these different secret rares are basically um, different. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, we have, we have one of each, and and basically, uh, one, I mean one one copy of each in this. This is really really good. I heard about the ratios are really really neat. Uh, we are very well wellly dispersed for this set, and we actually got all six of the seven already, already right here. Now I'm not too sure if any of these cards are inside within the set, or does it have to be a secret rare to be pulled from? Uh, but I'm super excited, and you know all these reprints are really really good that they chose because all these cards were getting really expensive. Uh, for regular uh, TCG, uh, but anyways, let's open it up and check out what the special holographic character card is all about as well So yep, Millennia Eyes, we got Mako Tsunami right here, really good stuff Red Eye Slash Dragon, really cool card, really really like it I really hope this drives all the prices down, so getting singles will be much um, affordable as well uh, Dr. Velen Crowler, 
Amazing. I love these cards. I have to sleeve those up and like put them on a binder. And then we have the up Ancient Gear Fusion with Joey Wheeler. Yeah, Ancient Gear Fusion was getting really expensive. Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Very essential for uh, Red Eyes decks. And we have uh, Weevil Underwood. I like it, they chose all the duelists that are actually included in this specific set. Then we have uh, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution and Bandit Keep. Wow, so basically one of each, no copies so far. I like the disbursement. This is actually really, really good coming up. Uh, really helps with the pricing. So yeah, we have 10 packs to open up right here. A lot of cards to go through, so let's go. Let's get through them. 18 packs, it's like a mega pack. Crystal Abundance, Princess, Beast Amethyst Cat, Rare Value, Rainbow Refraction, Citadel Whale. Yeah, perfect card to add um, if you guys are planning to build any like water type decks. I think this card could also come into potentially into the speed duel soon. Red Eyes Black Dragon, so that's really cool. Uh, just so you guys know that they finally did like a re rename change of this card because they used to be called Red Eyes B Dragon. Uh, I'm not too sure because they, you know, maybe it was just easier to write and there's more spacing, but now it just makes more sense. Red Eyes Black Dragon finally seeing it and in purple as well really good color uh melfi uh red eyes darkness dragon we haven't got the re uh the errata version yet Goton blast summon skull crystal beast crystal beast should be coming uh, along with gx very soon uh i mean not very soon but eventually uh in speed duels moving on to the next pack so yeah 10 packs to open highly recommend you guys uh get one of these for yourselves uh, Legendary Fisherman 2 came out in Speed Duels, Ancient Gear Catapult. I, uh, oh no, there's a little scratch, like a little factory error right here. You can see down here in the center there's a cut. That's unfortunate. Amber Mama, Megaroid City, Summon Skull, Beacroid, Kaido Shin, Attack Force, Black Metal Dragon, Cyberdog Impact, Heavy Metal Raiders. Yeah. So yeah, this card is a skill. Uh, in speed tools for us, so I don't think we'll be getting this card as a fuel zone, uh, as a regular fuel card, anytime soon just yet, since the skill is really good. Once again, another Desperado Barrel Dragon, love that. Melfi, uh, Cobalt Ego, Hydra, Hydra, Cyber Dark, Crystal Tree. Actually, I'm just gonna go a little bit faster uh, with these commons and stop at the ones that are really interesting overall. I know most of you guys are familiar with this already, but yeah, comment down below if you guys got any of this set for yourself. Red Eyes Fusion, really good reprint coming up because we have Red Eyes Dragoon, uh, which is coming for regular TCG, and this card was going to be very hyped up. A lot of people need it. I really like the artwork. You can see sort of like Red Eyes Black Dragon and sort of like the Summon Skull or Red Eyes Summon Skull. Really cool stuff in the artwork. Ancient Gear uh, Megaton Golem. I love this card. Really good stuff. Amazon's Baby Tiger. Machina. Uh, Res Avenger, Re Res Avenger, Res, Re Res Avenger, Res Avenger, Res Avenger. Sorry, sometimes I'm very bad at pronouncing. So I apologize for that. But basically, a new Machina card. Uh, the Machina structure that came out like a couple months ago, and uh, this is definitely a good addition to have for all you guys who are building Machinas. Two Mermaid Dragon, Ancient Gear. Yeah, once again here, Tune Parasite, Blast. Yep, all these similar cards so far. We haven't seen the Red Eyes uh, Errata yet. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Definitely need one of those because we need that we not we need that new Arada if we're gonna be playing any dragon decks. Yep. Tomb Cyber Dragon. Fisherman. Yep, Black Skull Dragon. Interesting. Black Skull Chick. Did they change that to black as well? Oh, it says Black Dragon's Chick. I see. They renamed it actually. Interesting. Because it used to be called Red Eyes B Chick. And which caused a lot of problems with the cards because they have to say a say. In the card uh, text, they have to basically say, except for a Red Eyes B Chick or Red Eyes Black Chick, because it was never counted as a Red Eyes card, apparently. But honestly, I think they should have just made it a Red Eyes card, but Black Dragon's, Black Dragon's Chick it is. Exeroid. Oh, and Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon right here. Wow. Amazing. With blue ultra rare writing, too. Really good card. Citadel Whale once again. And Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Basically a new card coming up in uh, Rise of the Duelist set as well. Uh, known as like the Gear Free, not Gear Free, sorry. Uh, what was it? Is it Gear Free? No. I forgot his name. Gaia, sorry. Gaia the Fierce Knight in the cover with Curse of the Dragon together. Uh, really cool stuff. Okay. Yeah, once again, commons seem to be fairly 
similar. Nothing too interesting just yet. Another Red Eyes Fusion, Legendary Ocean, how about Eagle, Toon Alligator, oh and we got Crystal Bond right here, yeah this card was actually very very expensive, Crystal Beast Dex needed, uh, really really exceptionally, so I'm really happy that we got one of these as well, definitely good reprint overall, and this is the green color, green color ultra rare. Once again another green color ultra rare, Heavy Metal Raiders, and then Machina, uh, Res Avenger. Cyberdark Inferno, yep stuff right here crystal abundance balloons to blue, uh, tomb blue eyes dragon cross dimensional duel ancient gear gold ultimate pound millennium eyes illusionist so this one we don't have in speed tools but this one's really powerful as well uh for basically millennium eyes deck or uh what do you call it like thousand thousand eyes restrict deck getting a lot of mouthies here kind of want some other cards other than that Corrosive Scales, Middle City, Cyber Dark, yeah, yeah, all the same stuff so far. Corrosive City once again, still haven't got the Arada version, we're gonna have to go for some singles then. Sea Stealth Attack, I really hope this card comes in for speed, this will really amp up uh, Border decks. Black Metal Dragon, Cyber Dark Dra Dragons, yep. And Amazon's call right here, an ultra rare, blue colored, tune table of contents, oh no, that's not good, there's some damages in this one, that is not nice at all, I mean they need to fix that stuff, quality control is not too good on this card, uh, but that, that's a shame, uh, but yeah, tune table of contents, I got loads of those from the speed duel pack, so I don't need any more honestly. Uh, again, Res Avenger, Cyber Darkness Dragon, good reprint as a common. It's actually a boss monster, I think. We should have kept it as a hollow, honestly. But yeah, we got a place of uh, Red Eyes Fusion, actually. Excellent. Once again, Toon Cannon Soldier. He looks so funny all the time. I mean, look at that face. <laughs> Crystal Beacon, Rainbow Dragon. Yep. Heavy Metal Raiders, I think we got a place of this one as well. Uh, Relinquished Fusion. First one that we got so far in this opening, really good. And then Theory of Kairu Shin. Then Mergeroid, yep, Proton Blast, Time Machine, Advanced Dark, Cyber Dark Impact. Yep, nothing too new for now. Two packs left. Let's see what can we pull. Man, I, I'm so tempted to get another box of these, like a whole box, a whole case. Cyber Dark Infernal, essential for Cyber Darks, Corrosive Scales, Megaloid City. Black Metal Dragon once again, good card. Crystal Beast, Malefic Red Eyes Black Dragon is a common, which is a pretty interesting card. I like it, but I don't think it's really that needed in Malefic decks. Got Fire Blast, Tomb World right here, we got the alternative art, I think, the art that we never received. I like this one, it's like the book, but I guess you can't really see it's actually a world or not. But basically Tomb World in a new Ultra Rare, Tomb Table of Contents, this time it's not broken. And then we got Melfi once again, Crystal Beacon. Red Eyes Retro Dragon, Super Rare Core. Still no eroded version of the Red Eyes. Net. Is that really hard to get or something? That's really interesting. Maybe it's one per case. Who knows? Time Blast. But yeah, I heard reviews about this set. People are really happy about it. The disbursements and ratios, no short prints whatsoever. Oh, and we got it. Speaking of which, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon reprint as a common with the eroded version. I love the new artwork overall. Uh, basically what the new effect is, you can still special summon this card from your hand by banishing one face of dragon monster you control, you can always special summon uh, Red Eye Darkness Metal, uh, Red Eye Darkness Metal Dragon once per turn this way. During your main phase, you can special summon one dragon monster from your hand or graveyard except for Red Eye uh, Darkness Metal Dragon. You can only use this effect of Red Eye Darkness Metal Dragon once per turn. So I think they basically made it sort of like a hard once per turn rather than a soft once per turn, or maybe it wasn't never, never once per turn. Uh, so yeah, that made it very, very powerful. Uh, so really glad. Kind of weird to see it as a common. I think it would have been made more sense if it was one of, one of the secret rares, maybe? Or guaranteed rares? I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, Cyber Dark Dragon. I was definitely looking for this card. This card was needed for... Uh, was long, long no, no reprinted. And if any of you guys play Cyber Darks, you guys know that this card is very expensive and hard to find even. Parasite Paranoid. Uh, Rainbow Bid, Bridge. Ultimate Crystal Magic, and again, Res Avenger right here to round off for our final pack. Wow, so lots of hollows, yeah, from this set. Highly recommend, 
uh, any of you guys who are collecting uh, basically get get like a whole box of this case I mean look at all those hollows you guys can see the disbursement of this set is really good we got like one of every single kind of card I don't know if we're missing anything but maybe we are since we didn't get uh, the full case I think if we got the full case we've gotten like literally one of everything almost at one point we also got some like you know play sets of some of these but yeah really 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 good so really highly recommend you guys who are looking for um, you know, some nostalgia of these duelist, duelist uh, type of cards. Uh, really, really happy and excited and to basically open this up with you guys. Let's look at these once again. Bandit Keith, Weevil, Joey, Dr. Valor, Mako, Jesse. wonder who else we're missing over here. I think Pegasus. Yeah, Pegasus should have obviously be one of them. And my Valentine as well, since there's a lot of Amazon's cards right here maybe those two cards are supposed to be in that missing two boxes but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the opening let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the set if you guys got one for yourselves uh even if you guys uh, i would just highly even getting just one simple box right here for you get for your own just to open it for fun uh, a lot of cool cards overall uh, really good stuff. Let me know what you guys pulled. Uh, what's, the, what's the most uh, expensive or uh, sought after card in the set is. A lot of these are really good for um, archetype support based uh, uh, specifics. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed the opening just as much as I did. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the Vault channel for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG opening and content on here. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this opening. Maybe if you want me to get another box, let me know if you guys do. I'll probably consider it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. See you in the next video. This is the Vault, signing.